that the overriding thought, even after the game, was how proud I was of the way the Tipperary team and the panel of 35 yeah. um, had uh, had played on the day. You know, um, we gave a great account of ourselves, even though we don't want to be portrayed, I suppose, as the gallant losers. But it does set us on a good platform for 2010. The uh, team is still very, very young, and the lads have gained an awful lot of experience from it. Kilkenny have just set the set the bar. I think the rest of us are catching up, but that's only going to be a warning to Kilkenny that they may need to do a bit more, you know. And I think that's a, that's always a challenge facing into next year. They're going for their five in a row, and I suppose the rest of the chase and pack have to try to stop them. Um, well, it certainly was a tough season, you know, and, and the finals was tough as well, con considering we, we caught getting a very good start. And uh, certainly, I suppose, that a, a little bit of experience from our, from our players um, seen to shine through, and that got us over the line in the end. Every year we go out, you know, come, come, come from Kerry, we seem to produce great footballers. And Tommy, the fine day the last day, and you've probably the older guys then, the, the O'Shea's and Declan O'Sullivan, and these guys who, who, who have been very, very good all year. But when you players like that, it's, it's very easy to play alongside, really. I was back with the club the week after. Um, the, the game and um, the club championship tip there's an awful lot of senior teams so there's a lot of provisional rounds and all that so we were beaten in, the, in that side of it so we were gone the following Sunday at half four I was out of the championship again you know so I mean now it's only a matter of rest up I suppose and then get the body ready for, for hopefully 2010 just, There were some club games again last weekend you know so um, we played this weekend so yeah you're straight back into it you know there's no rest the celebrations are over now so um, we'll go on from here and, and uh, it'll be it'll probably be hell for leather from here to Christmas for, for the teams that are going, going fast Dr. Crokes and Clarney will be my club. Um, we had a good 2007. We got the North Ireland Club final. Um, last across McGlynn in a replay. Um, so, yeah, we've been there, there about the last couple of years, and hopefully it'll be a similar case this year. I think the club are used to seeing me around the county set up and all that, you know, and, and you always try to get back to the club as much as you can because I started there while Tipper want me for a while. I'll end up back there again, you know, so you have to really appreciate what you have in the club atmosphere. And I think it was great to go back to, to my family or my club, you know, and, and, and start holding with them again. They made not that easy to get over disappointment the previous Sunday. I'm having that so close, and, and two, two years ago, um, you'd love to get back to that stage again, and I suppose the club is, the club is huge because they're your real buddies who you grew up with and go to school with and to, to win and achieve something with them would be, would be very satisfying and that's something we'll, we'll continue and try to do. Uh, with, with the club you're playing with the guys you grew up with and all who uh, who mightn't have the most potential in the world but will go through a wall for you and things like that and who will put in so much effort and uh, literally die for the club and die for the cause and things like that. With Kerry you're playing with a more talented player probably, a more skillful player. Um, maybe some that you haven't really grown up with, but you, you, you come to you come to get very close to them as well, you know, and that's that they're the main differences from playing club and county. There's probably uh, maybe a little bit more pressure even when you're playing with your club and you're playing with people you've you've grown up with where the county set up and meet people for six or eight months of the year and who knows if they don't make it the next year they they're kinda of gone out of the scene, you know. Whereas club players you know all the life experience of the fellas around you and you know the crack and the banter is a little bit better and stronger maybe. But um yeah I, I suppose that the, the the club side of it has a has a huge passion and maybe a little bit more pressure expectations are higher. We won the county championship in 2000, it was, I was only 17, I was f f very young and I had four brothers on the team as well so that was kind of probably a special moment for, for family and for the club you know so um, we haven't won it since so that, that's that's it's nine years now so it's a long time to wait again you know so um, that was a great achievement for five of us to be on the one team and uh, to get back to another county final would be great. We won, um, um, but we got to play senior hurling the last two years. I mean, we've been intermediate for I think just 20 years or so, and uh, we won a few intermediate titles, and we'd earned the right to go up to play senior. And the last two years in senior has been fantastic. You know, we've gotten to play against the guys I play with inter county level, and uh, it's been a great buzz to, to showcase what my own club can do at that at that level. And the lads have been brilliant, so that's been the the highlight I think for me. You have the, the, the so-called superpowers of Nemo and Crossman Glen, who were gone out of the championships this year, you know, so. Um, I suppose yeah, there's a couple of teams who like it's it's very early to say because the teams haven't come out of their out, out of um, out of their counties yet. But anyone and like any of the Munster teams or the Connacht teams have, have been very very good records in the Ireland club. So you certainly respect any of the teams coming out of there. As as Kilmacud are still in the Dublin Championship, I think they're always and champions last year. They're going to be they're going to be knocking on the door again. I think Tumi Var are going to be the ones, you know, they have uh, they have five or six of the lads on the inter-county set up. Um, they did well last year, but I think they feel that they'll want to, to go maybe a little step further now and, and get to get through a Munster club and get to an All-Ireland series in it. So I think they're going to be the ones that will come out and tip uh, when all is said and done at the end of the year.